They had a chance to speak with one of those budding young stars for BYU women's basketball, Amari Whiting, who has been thrust into the spotlight. She's carried a ton of pressure this year. So naturally, after BYU's best win of the season, had to ask her, how do you keep things rolling? And can the Cougars get on a run here beginning at Cincinnati? My one-on-one -on -one with BYU's freshman point guard, Amari Whiting. Amari, let's begin with just a congratulations on what was a monumental win against Baylor and taking down the 18th ranked team in the country. Easily the best performance by this BYU women's basketball team all season. So before we push ahead, just one question to recap it all. What do you think ultimately was the difference to allow you to start so quickly? Because when your team does start quickly, you typically win the game. Um, I think we all just kind of like believed. Um, we have like recognized that that was our problem. And so emphasis we, uh, before coming into this game was, hey, we got to like punch first. We got to start first. Um, and so that's what we did. Um, there was no pressure. We just kind of came out there and fought. And I don't know, we owed it to ourselves to, you know, give us a chance. So I thought that's what our game plan was, I guess. What was the celebration like inside the locker room? Because we got a glimpse of it. It looked like chaos. I talked to your mom <laughs> after the game. I think her, her chin was quivering because she was freezing. <laughs> but she had a huge grin on her face. So what was that celebration moment like? Um, it was awesome. We we're all just throwing water everywhere, dancing. Um, it was cool. I mean, we haven't had an upset all season. And so um, just to be able to like share that and especially like late in the season when it really matters. Um, it was cool. We are all super excited and happy. I know it's only one win, but my goodness, what a huge win to try and use as a confidence builder, especially with you now being on the road. You get Cincinnati, then UCF before you come home against Kansas and TCU. You know these teams, Amari, and you know what BYU women's basketball is capable of. So what is the key to channeling some of that energy that you had against Baylor and using it on the road against Cincy and UCF? Um, I think we just need to like stay on this run. Um, coach always says never let your highs get to high, your lows get to low. Um, we're just going to prepare how we do for every game. But I think we've shown ourselves that we can hang with any Big 12 team and we can win. Um, and so I feel like just knowing that it gives us more confidence and I feel like we're playing really well together right now and um, just carrying that into the next game. It's never one of us. It's never going to be just like one girl going off. It's going to have to, it's going to have to be a team effort. So I think just carrying that into the offensive side and then defense side, just taking pride in locking the chick up in front of you. So what is the scouting report on Cincinnati this go around? Because you've already seen them once. Um, just kind of the same. I mean, I think we did a pretty good job against them the first time. Um, but obviously like it's hard to beat a team twice. So I think that, um, we'll have to be more locked in. I mean, we know some of their plays, they know some of ours. Um, so just kind of throwing new stuff out there. Um, but also we just punch first and fighting. So I know turnovers have been something that your team has discussed ad nauseum. <laughs> And, and you're working at it every day. What is the key to limiting some of those? I mean, you still had a higher number than you wanted against Baylor, but you did a way better job protecting the ball against Baylor than you did against West Virginia. So what are those little nuanced things you're working on to try and limit turnovers? Um, I would just say like being on the same page. I feel like sometimes, um, especially me, like I get excited when I see some, like, I think someone's open for a split second. So I just throw it without thinking. And sometimes that's a good thing. Cause it goes through, but sometimes it's not a good thing. Um, so I just say that like being on the same page, making sure we're always looking for each other. Um, and also like when we do get pressured or pressed, like just being patient and relaxed, um, and just taking care of it, like have someone flash if we need help. Um, but yeah, I guess just like helping each other out and just, you know, being on the same page. All right. In that line of thinking, we pinpointed, you know, the number one area of concern for BYU, you do some things well, in your opinion, what does this team do the best? Um, obviously Lauren Gustin being inside, that's <laughs> one of our strengths, um, her boards and just her inside presence. Um, I'd also say our, just like how athletic our three fours are. Um, 
I feel like they can all shoot, so you got to guard them perimeter, but then they can all take you off the bounce. Um, that, we got a shooter, Kaylee Wolston, Kaylee Smiler, um, and I just feel like our guards are really good at just at playing together, playing connected, especially our whole team. Um, but just like recently, we've been finding the open person, making the extra pass, and mm -hmm. that's hard to guard. So, All right, Amar, a few more questions uh, as we wrap up. And um, I know I've asked you to look back on your, your freshman season a lot, but now let's push it forward. There are different levels of goals. Your team has been very outspoken about wanting to finish higher in conference than you were projected by the coaches preseason, which was number 11. Um, how do you feel like you are pacing in that regard right now to finish higher than that number? Um, I feel like we're kind of like, I don't want to, I guess, speak too soon, but I feel like we're sure. kind of peaking of just like being it, like we kind of are figuring things out. Um, and so I feel like, like, especially this like last half of the season, we like it's a good time to be able to be like oh okay like we know what we're doing now um and so obviously that can help and like win after win we'll just you know kind of keep the momentum um to finish higher but i don't know i think we all, all believe that we can finish higher it's just getting it done at this point absolutely well said okay uh and another future goal but this one on a minor scale this just deals with cincinnati um maybe it's lower turnovers or maybe it's you want more assists what what's the one thing that you're focusing on in your game specifically against Cincinnati uh for sure taking care of the ball um I mean like especially games like last night I feel like I d played a pretty well-rounded game it's just um my turnovers have you know kind of been not doing so hot um and it doesn't even feel like it's like that much till after the game you look at the stats. <laughs> um, so I would just say that taking care of the ball um, and also locking up whoever I got defensively. All right, I lied. I've got one more question. Okay. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to get in trouble if I say the Chiefs. So I'm not saying the Chiefs are going to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you're not saying the chiefs not the chiefs wink no. wink <laughs> <laughs> are you a t swift I, fan yeah. are you a big t swift fan? Uh, kind of in the middle with t swift i okay. like her i really do i think the chiefs are really good but i am always up for a good underdog okay win, so. all right hey either way byu wins because you got fred warner up in byu on the san francisco side you got Andy Reid and Matt Bushman repping the Chiefs on that side, right? Yep, yep. Win, hey, do win. me a favor. Tell your buddy Jason Shepard, uh, who may or may not be a huge fan of the Chiefs, I dare you to say, go Niners to him and see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. No, he's already walked in with gear, like Chiefs gear on game days, and all of us are just like, oh, no. Here we go. Uh, yep. <laughs> you, you know, you know. Amari, it's, it's great to talk to you. Uh, we're sending you some BYU Sports Nation karma from Provo to continue those good vibes from the Baylor win against Cincinnati and on to UCF. Can't wait to watch. Thanks for the time. Thank you so much.